G'day, g'day guys, welcome to class number two. This one is using, this is class number two using the Craft Consortium Over the Rainbow 6x6 Premium Papers. Now I've gone through, I actually wanted to print a photo of my husband. I know the photo I want to use, but I, my printer has run out of yellow ink. So I've substituted with a photo of myself. <laughs> I think it looks okay in the end, but it was actually meant to be my husband, this whole idea, because I wanted to use more masculine colors on this. Even though it's rainbow, this could easily be a male page. That's my take on it. So I pulled out my Creative Memories circle cutters. Now, you can use anything. If you don't have these, I'm not saying go and buy them. I'm saying go ahead, grab some lids, go to your Tupperware cupboard, grab some bowls, some plates, anything that's small enough that you'll be able to cut multiples of a round shape, okay? So it doesn't matter, it could be a tablet box, it could be the bottom of a distress oxide bottle, it could be a lid off a distress oxide bottle, it could be a tomato sauce lid, it could be anything, a Coke bottle lid, the, the list goes on and on and on, it could be anything. Trace around it, cut it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. And the reason why it doesn't have to be perfect is because we're gonna distress the edges. So that makes this a very user-friendly go-to page that you could do with a plethora of different um, six by six pages. You could literally use all florals if you wanted to really pimp it out and you wanted to, I know there's a couple of new paper pads coming out and oh my word, I saw one yesterday, the new 49th and Market. Um, when I say yesterday, Today I am recording this on, what date is it? It is the, um, I have no idea. I can't even read the date. What's the date? The 4th of April. 4th of April 2023. So, because I know this is going to stay there for a long time. So, I saw the new 49th and Market um, paper pack and oh my word, it is stunning. This is a perfect design for those papers as well. Like it is just so interchangeable. You can use lots of patterns. You can do no patterns. It's completely up to you. You could add texture paste. You could um, you could do stamping on it. There's like so many different areas that you could could do things. Now, as you can see, I'm making the best use of my six by six papers. So I'm cutting out some bigger ones, I'm cutting out some smaller ones. I have pulled in some that were left over from the last class that we did. And basically I just wanted to create a heap of different colored circles, sticking with three colors though. Why does this work? If you choose three colors that go together, so orange and green go together really well, orange and blue go together really well, and they work as a tri-color situation. So quite often you'll notice when you're buying clothes for little boys, they'll either be blue and orange, or they'll be green and orange, or green, green and blue, usually green and brown, but yeah. So I don't have suns, so I digress. Now, basically I'm just giving you the gist of where I'm going with this, okay? So I'm just creating bubbles through the center. That's kind of where my head's at with this. Now, it's at this point that normally I would put this on, pull this off a few times and make sure it's exactly how I want it, right? But I wanted to go around and I wanted to rough it around. I took a photo because I thought I'm gonna move these and I'll bet you I don't put them back in the same spot and it will frustrate me. But because this is a class, I didn't want to keep pulling things off and putting things back on. Obviously the video is equally, I'm still there by the way, give me half a second. I was just looking for something else to, I was going to use um, the scissors that I've got off to the side there. They are really, really good for my hands, the way I um, go around and distress the edges. So I'm pretty much trying to distress them and then put them back almost exactly where they were in the same position. Because when you're doing something like this, 
guaranteed you get it right the first time and then when you move it you can never get it back in the same spot great pro tip take a photo if you don't take a photo it's gonna get messed up and the second tip I have is don't second guess yourself the heart the one thing that we all do and I mean I do it I do it all the time I second guessed myself. I mean, you asked Cass. I was throwing <laughs> that first class. I could send her a photo. I'm like, is it good enough? You know, like I, I second guess myself just as much as what you guys do. So, and we, we, we are our own worst enemies because it looks great. And you know what? When I'm creating it, I'm like, yeah, yeah, a little bit more, a little bit more. But when I watch it back in the video as I'm voiceovering it, I'm like, why was I second guessing that? What is wrong with me? Why was I thinking that didn't work? It totally works. So basically what I've done here is I've got a dark green and a light green. The big circle I'm keeping lighter. And basically I'm going around. This is, this is my other pro tip. Just put a little bit of tape under it. Now this is not technically repositionable tape, but if I do want to lift it up, I can. And that way you've pretty much popped everything pretty much where you want it and that way you can come back with glue later and you can make sure everything's perfect so i've distressed all the edges now what i wanted to do is i wanted to show you a different technique with the lunar paste in this video so the last time we scraped it with a spatula through the stencil and we used the very bottom border this time what we're going to do is we're going to use i've pulled out the mint tape again thank you shay and um and and nancy now the other thing that i've done so i've just the best thing about this particular stencil is you get so many different looks with the one stencil and that's why I chose it because I thought it would be so versatile you could literally do so many different looks with it and that's what I do when I buy a supply of anything whether it's lunar paste whether it is a stencil I try and think about the multiple uses I'll get out of it if you're buying something and you only have one idea in your head stop stop and try and get more ideas in your head to use that particular product if you're stuck and you can only think of one way to use it I would genuinely second guess as to whether you probably should purchase that particular product when it comes to lunar paste this particular video we're not scraping it through we're using a makeup sponge and we're sponging it through the stencil to give you a lighter you're still getting the metallic but it's more transparent so it's not as thick you don't get as much texture but I do show you a couple of really good close-ups and you can see so in the video you can see the way I've done the line work on it it literally makes it look like it's 3d it's pretty cool so stick around for that bit now as I've said make sure you clean your stencil straight away Luna paste dries like nobody's business super super quick like I mean it's dried the time it took me to clean that stencil it was dry dry on my on my layout perfect so which is great for someone that has limited time to scrap but they like mixed media it's fantastic for that now this is another little trick I'm going to show you this is something when you buy a six by six paper pad see how it's sitting see how I've got that sitting there if I put that on, if I backed that photo solely just straight on that piece of paper, I am going to get one look and I'm going to get one photo mat out of it. If I cut myself strips like this and line it up, now I'm using my grid mat underneath to line this up. So it makes it so much easier and you get a nice straight line all the way around. Then just go around and trim it off. And because these papers are... Um, they've got like a an ink sort of watercolor look to them they're perfect to do this technique with because you don't notice if it's a little bit darker a little bit light it's great 
So this way you can get a double photo mat out of one six by six paper. You could even almost, I reckon you could probably pull a triple if, you, if I was being super, super, yeah, I reckon I could do it. If I used um, glue to put my strips on, I could make those strips, instead of being half an inch, I could make them um, probably maybe a third of an inch, bit over a quarter, and I'd be able to get a triple mat out of one six by six. That is a, that is a major tip because it's the one thing that will allow you to stretch your supplies, especially if you like using a six by six paper pad. Now, so I've gone through, I've put the diamonds on there, so that's added a little bit of shiny texture. I've done the circles, I'm gluing down the photo, I'm just committing because this is this is another thing that I want you guys to take from these videos. Commit. Don't procrastinate, don't second guess yourself. Usually the first thing you do is what you're going to stick with. So now I'm tracing around the circles that I used just to give some line work to create movement. So we've created texture with both the stencil and with the distressing. Now we're creating movement with the lines. I'm using a Posca, my metallic Posca gold pen. If you don't have one of those, use whatever you have in your, in your little collection. You might have, um, I do come around after, I've left this in because that's what I do with my videos, be a, be a class or not, I'm still leaving in and I'm not cutting things out, okay? Because even in classes, you've got, you're going to do something and you're going to go, oh, that didn't work. Now what do I do? I'm going to show you. Okay, so I've got, I'm going around and I like the metallic gold Posca pen. I like it on the solid colors. Not a problem. But the problem I have here, and I'll draw your attention to it right now, is nothing is contrasting enough to be bold enough to stand out. That's where I'm having trouble. I'm also, well, not having trouble, but it's, when you look at it, you sort of go, uh, Karen, where's this going? You know, like that's the sort of feeling. It's not, it's not trouble. It's just stop and think. So here's where I pulled out a piece of scrap American Crafts textured cardstock. And I'm just using the shapes that I have already cut from. So I'm not creating, you know, reinventing the wheel. I'm just using those as a stencil. And I'm cutting out, just traced it, and I'm cutting it out. And now I'm going to show you, yes, you bought a stencil. It's a border stencil, 100%. But by doing this, it allows you to re um what's the wording um oh it's left my head <laughs> it's where you put down um so i'm using the same technique i used for the stencils and i'm replicating's the word <laughs> i was try i was going to say reciprocating and that i knew that word wasn't right so i'm replicating the circles that are already in the center and this way it gives you a completely different border look and you're using the gold lunar paste that you've bought with your kit not a problem and you're replicating the gold i apologize if you can hear that there is a thunderstorm on its way and i thought i could get this done before it arrived but it's grumbling a bit <laughs> so this is where I decided to use the end of my mechanical pencil and I still had some gold sitting there so I thought maybe I could do some smaller gold dots. This is what I'm doing. I'm going to show you at the very end how I jazz it up my way. Okay, so I'm going to take you all the way to what is a perfectly good stopping point but then what I've decided to do with a little bit of feedback from everyone is I'm going to take you as far as the supplies that I have that you've purchased and then I'm going to give you a close-up of it and then I'm going to go for another couple of minutes and add some extra bits because I think that's something really important to show you. 
if you just purchase these couple of little extra bits this is where the page can go if you want your page to just pop that little bit more and so that's what I decided to do with today's layout so you've bought your kit that gold down the side is looking fantastic the trick with doing the gold down the side don't do them all the same circle size make sure you mix them up look at that my daughter bought me some Easter eggs I haven't had a great day I'm just saying <laughs> we all have our mental health struggles and we all sometimes we don't cope with certain things very well but that's okay so um, so basically what I was doing here now this is where I've pulled out my title so I ended up using the thickers they're the perfect day thickers I'm not sure I think crazy craft obsession still have some in stock if not this particular set has got a lot of titles in it so it is bang for buck if you wanted a lot of different titles it's definitely one to get your hands on now I'm eating Easter eggs while I'm doing this guys nothing like chewing on some chocolate hey so as you can see I've bought in my black pen so I've gone around everything with my gold and it wasn't popping enough for me so that's when I decided to go around with my black Posca paint pen I buy these from Officeworks if you're an Aussie or a Kiwi I get them from Officeworks and they are about actually the last pack I think I got some from Amazon but I usually just duck down to Officeworks and they're about five bucks a, a pen and they last for a very long time if you do not run them through wet mixed media trust me learn from my mistake it's an expensive mistake <laughs> so I decided that I would go around and I would even though I've added the gold on there I'm putting a messy black circle just to help these circles pop and can you see how that is just highlighting them that little bit extra and I think that's looking pretty cool I'm I'm pretty happy with that so I now am so I've gone around the circles from the little dots that I did from the mechanical pencil not sure that I should have done that maybe I should have left them but because I'd gone around everything else I felt like they it didn't look finished but that's because I usually come in at the very end with some bling of some description and I think that's where I was coming unstuck so I've gone around now and I've glued everything down so I've glued down my all the circles and that way I know nothing's actually going to come off this is where I pulled out my normal black pen this is I use this one it is a gel grip uniball gel grip pen it's a uniball signo and it's 0.7 millimeter it's exactly the same width as the Posca paint pen why I didn't just use that one I don't know it was just sitting there and it's really hard I gotta say it's actually really difficult to when you've got so much stuff like I have you have your go-to things that you grab so this is the close-up guys now have a look at this so this is perfectly fine to stop at this point this is it all built up see with the black line it makes it look 3d and it looks fantastic right but now I'm going to show you with a couple of bits and pieces you can take it from yeah it's good to wow that's wow that 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 to me is finished so I went through and I pulled out my um, my little my little collection of pink fresh studio metallic pearls in the gold now they are shiny gold I'm not sure if um, if crazy craft obsession have these ones in but they do stock pink fresh gems now um, so you know have a look over there see what you like you might use what you have in your stash it's totally your call now I am just using my little wax pencil like I always do and where I put the dots with my mechanical pencil it worked fine it looked fine but 
normally I would come in with some bling and that makes this page more me. So I was totally happy with it. Adding the bling just makes it pop. Now the other thing that I wanted to bring into this layout and I pulled out was my Nouveau, what's it called? Uh, it's called, it's ebony black in color and it's the Nouveau drops. So the deluxe Nouveau drops. They are stunning and it's jet black and it just, you know how I always talk about having three of their color on there. So if you've got a black border, you've got a black title, it needed some black dots to tie it all together. That's what I, that's what I needed to do with it. So the gold is now in three different places. It's the same gold in the border and the diamonds, but because it's a different shape, it looks like you've put it in there twice. Now, because the gold lines and the gold pink fresh metallic pearls, to me, that's finished. So thank you for letting me have that extra little bit on the end. Let me know below if that is something that you're okay with. If I finish the layout and then if I add a little bit on the end to show you how you can lift it to the next level. So here it all is, up close and personal. Please leave me a comment. All feedback is, fan is welcome positive or negative let me know I'm more than happy to take it all on board for the next one and I hope if you are an Aussie or a Kiwi and you're after the pack I believe there is still some available and there is a link in I'll put a link in the description here at the time of this video it was still available okay so thank you so very much for watching i genuinely appreciate each and every one of you and even if you're not joining into the class you can reciprocate you can reciprocate it's stuck in my head you can um scrap lift this not a problem with any papers that you have in your collection thanks so much for watching guys i'll chat to you soon bye for now